right okay so true or false most conducting materials have different resistances at different temperatures so the answer here is true but let's try to think about um, what this means so for all conducting materials we have this thing called a temperature coefficient and what this essentially tells us is let's say if we had a high temperature in a conducting material we know that there be more collisions because a high temperature means more kinetic energy so there's more collisions between the electrons so this means more collisions And then because there's more collisions between the electrons, um, the uh, flow of the current will decrease. And this is due because this increased temperature causes an increased resistance. And this increased resistance is represented by kind of the increase in collisions, which decreases the flow of electrons. And then this kind of decreases our current, current flow and will represent current flow by I. So here we can see um, when we increase the temperature, there will be increased resistance. And all conductors have a temperature coefficient that relates this information to us, um, how temperature affects the resistance of the material. One thing to note for the temperature coefficient is if the temperature coefficient is positive, this means that the relationship, so an increase in temperature, means there will be an increase in resistance. So I'll just make a line, separate this out. Secondly, if the temperature coefficient is negative, an increase in temperature is a decrease in resistance. So most conducting material have a positive value, but then in some scenarios there's a negative value for the temperature coefficient, and that means we'd have an increase in temperature, um, we get a decrease in resistance. So this thing is true. Most conducting materials have different resistances at different temperatures. So looking at the answer, each type of material known for its high conductive quality has a different temperature coefficient. This is the material susceptible to heating or how much it is, its resistance rises with temperature. And then outlines most materials have a positive temperature coefficient. And then this impacts the resistance of the material. So correct answer, great job. So I'll clear this and...